Okay, now we're at the portion where we're going to uh, mount our manual release lever. Uh, mounting the manual release lever is one of the most crucial parts of any ZAP operator installation. Um, I've, I've, I've seen it uh, uh, so many different times where the manual release lever is mounted improperly and in turn we don't get sufficient belt tension uh, which then the operator doesn't function properly. So this is one of the more crucial parts of the installation. Um, the black Bowden cable, as you can see, I've got some nice slack in that yet, which that's always nice, a little slack there. And uh, the first rule of thumb with the manual release lever is you can see the hook on the lever is threaded. I'm going to turn the hook out. So most of the threads are up top, which is going to allow us some adjustment down the road because the belt and the cable do stretch out over time. So you will need to readjust this. In a residential application, once a year is sufficient. In a commercial application, a couple times a year, such as spring and fall time, would be good times to readjust the lever. And how we adjust that and where it should be set, I'm going to describe here in just a moment. Uh, first, what we're going to do is the hook on the end of the manual release lever does connect at the end of the silver cable. And that this component is called the D-shackle. And you can see it's just hanging here now. And what we're going to do in order to know where to mount this to the vertical door track and where to have this positioned is you just hold it up to the vertical door track and you kind of want to gauge it with both hands. You want your lever to start getting tight, the red lever, at a 90 degree angle such as I have pointed out right here. You can see we're starting to get a good amount of pressure and it's pulling the silver cable down at about 90 degrees. So that's basically where we're going to mount our manual release lever. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, secure the manual release lever to the vertical door track. In fact, in this application, I already have a hole in the vertical track for us. For one, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drill the other hole so we can mount uh, both here. Okay, so I'm going to acquire the hardware, the bolts and nuts that are supplied with the operator and secure the manual release lever. And then we will go through the proper setting procedure of this, the fine tune adjustment, if you will. Okay, we're at the point where we're going to mount the manual release lever to our vertical door track. We've got both holes drilled into the track, supplied hardware with the operator, two threaded bolts, two eight millimeter nuts and we're going to put the bolt head through the track and into the manual release lever and secure it on the manual release lever side or outside of the door track with the supplied eight millimeter nuts. So I'm going to go ahead in my case here I have to raise the door some to get to the bottom bolt and we're going to go ahead and get this fastened up. Okay, so we have our manual release lever mounted to the vertical door track. I did snug down the bolt and nut set up here and I've reconnected the hook to the D-shackle at the end of our cable. And as you can see, we start getting a very good amount of pressure here at about the 90 degree angle or straight out from the track. And that's where we want it. I've actually fine tuned, adjusted it just a little bit there after we mounted it. And obviously, since they turned the hook all the way out before we started, we had room for adjustment in order to do that. So with it set there, I'm very happy with uh, uh, the tension that we're getting. I'm going to go ahead and just hand tighten is all you need to do. The nut at the base of the hook here. And then I'm going to go ahead and clamp that down. And that does lock into place very nicely. And that's given us the, the ample amount of tension on our belt that we're going to need. So the operator uh, has that in order to turn the spring shaft. Uh, leaving that too loose, obviously the belt's gonna slip up top and uh, put, uh, throw the operator out of calibration. So very important here, uh, part of any ZAP operator. Yes.